go and tell those bastards of yours. If they don't give the workers they just do, I, Uriah Butler, will turn the British Empire upside down. I'm a born motorite. I am 94 years of age. So I grew up from 1935. I couldn't even tell you when we had the storm. It is it, it wind, you know, you have a time it is wind. But you know, he's a man that he, he didn't joke in. He was very rude, you know. <laughs> he didn't take it stupid to buy that. The conditions of the poor Indians and Negroes and sugar, and oil, respectively, was nothing short of subhuman. It was clearly a case for early rectification. But how to do it? The 1930s is the high point for Afro-Indian solidarity. It was an anti-colonial revolt led by people who wanted to ensure that they had the right to, to work, they had the right to trade union membership. And I think that is as a result of the emergence of two of, of the, the finest trade union leaders that we have ever had in, in, in this country. One was Adrian Kohler Rienzi, and the other was Tubal Uriah Buzz Butler. The labor movement has made a very significant contribution to the changes which have taken place throughout the Caribbean, politically, uh, industrial relations wise. Um, a lot of this credit has to go to the working class of the region. <laughs> 